What's up, guys? Paul here. Uh, it is St. Patrick's Day in L.A. I, well, I guess it's St. Patrick's Day all over the world. Uh, well, no, maybe it's tomorrow already somewhere in the Pacific. Anyway, um, <laughs> happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing the green, uh, or at least the uh, greenest thing I had. Um, yeah, I worked a full day at, uh, at Encore. Um, it was pretty much a full day working on Revenge. Um, and... Uh, what was cool is, uh, you know, my wife, Laura, watches the show, and I watch it with her, because that's what you do when you're married. You you watch shows together. She'll watch Archer with me, and I'll watch Revenge with her. Um, so, uh, yes, yeah, so we watched, um, let's say, last night was Monday, so we watched Sunday's episode on Hulu, and uh, Sunday's episode was the first episode that I worked on. So, uh, I gotta admit, that was kind of cool, watching uh, watching a show on ABC with uh, shots that I did in it. That was pretty neat. So I'm pretty damn proud of that. Um, and then those were some good shots in that uh, in that episode. Um, but uh, the shot I'm working on, or the shots I'm working on uh, for the 18th episode of season four of Revenge, um, there's some really cool stuff. Uh, I've got one where uh, it's a shot in the uh, the beach club and, um, you know, when they shoot, when they shoot in the beach club, it's a lot of blue screen stuff outside the window, uh, and putting in the, uh, the marina panorama that we've got, uh, that's assembled from a, a bunch of location, um, uh, video that was taken. So it's a bunch of quick times that are all kind of stitched together and then projected onto a, uh, a, the inside of a sphere in Nuke's, uh, 3D, uh, environment, and then you position it where you need to. Uh, and then, you know, you pull your blue screen out and, uh, you know, you position your marina so it looks like it fits with the, uh, the shot. <clears throat> so I'm doing a lot of that stuff and, you know, that's kind of becoming pretty, um, pretty standard. Like I've now done a, a ton of those shots. Um, and, you know, I've kind of gotten around the, the whole thing, like fighting with the blinds and, you know, the glare on the windows and all that stuff. Uh, so they added a new wrinkle to, uh, to my shots this week. Um, so there was a shot that was behind the bar shooting through glass shelves and, um, alcohol bottles and, you know, all this kind of, kind of stuff. And the camera's booming down through these glass shelves and you're seeing all these different layers of refractions and reflections and things refracting through bottles and refracting through the edge of the green edge of the glass shelf and then reflecting uh, on the top surface of the glass and then as the glass goes past the camera the bottom surface of the glass so lots of different pieces um, and this is where having um, <clears throat> a big team and having things um, sort of you know broken up into departments really helped because I had a 3d tracker that did the tracking for me and gave me a great camera solve, and then I uh, we were able to send the shot out to our uh, rotoscoping vendor, um, and they sent me back roto of the individual bottles and the shelves, so I was able to create isolated segments of the, the shot and really deal with each of the reflections as a separate layer and all of that stuff. I'm really happy with the way this shot is turning out. I'm sure, you know, I submitted it today for, uh, for a review, uh, in addition to, I don't know, probably a dozen other shots that uh, that will get reviewed either tonight or tomorrow. So I'm anticipating that there's going to be some things that I've I've overlooked because a lot of moving parts and fresh eyes. You know, the eyes of the producer and uh, and Anthony, who I talked about yesterday. You know, they're they're surely going to spot things that I missed or things that could be better. But I'm I'm re I'm looking forward to notes on this particular shot because I want this shot to be spectacular. I want it, like right now it feels. <clears throat> when you look at it, like I can always see through visual effects, but when I look at it, uh, it just feels so legit to me. Like it was really, uh, really in camera, you know? So we're seeing like the boats and the, the water from the marina refracted through the bottles and refracted through the edges of the shelves and stuff. And I'm, I'm just digging the hell out of it. And I love that. I love being able to, you know, point to that and go, see that, that visual effect that you can't tell is a visual effect. I did that. <laughs> I love that part. So, um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some notes on it tomorrow and, and, uh, kicking it up even higher. Cause it's, uh, it's going to be a nice piece for my reel. So, um, yeah, that's, that's basically it for today. Um, 
tomorrow, like I said, we're going to uh, Blade Runner at the Cinerama Dome, and um, <clears throat> maybe so. Maybe tomorrow's vlog will be late because um, I probably won't publish it until until after Blade Runner's done. Because uh, I'd love to shoot some stuff uh, at the dome. See what the light is like in there when we go in for seating. But certainly, I'd shoot some stuff in the lobby. Um, so look for that late tomorrow night, all right? And uh, I will talk to you guys then.